Hello everyone and welcome to Bavaria. Munich, the capital of Bavaria, is 440 kilometers southeast of Luxembourg and worked out to be a one hour, five minute flight. We spent the night in Munich and then took a bus towards the village of Hohenschwang. When we got to the small mountain village, we were greeted with winds gusting up to 45 miles per hour and breathtaking views of snow-capped mountains and two amazing castles. The castle seen here is the Hohenschwangau Castle. The castle served as the childhood home of King Ludwig II. Steps away from his home sits the beautiful Lake Alpsee. There's a walking trail that takes you around the lake in about two hours. Unfortunately, we didn't have time to explore the walking trail this trip, but we would certainly check it out next time. As King Ludwig's rule grew longer, his desire to spend his family's massive fortune grew as well. His castle, New Schwanstein, began construction in September of 1869 and was originally intended to include over 200 rooms. However, the castle was never completely finished due to the mysterious death of King Ludwig. What remains today is considered to be the major inspiration behind Walt Disney's Cinderella Castle. With over 6,000 people visiting the castle each day, it is said that it is one of the most photographed buildings in the entire world. Visitors today will notice that the castle is seemingly always under repair. With the close proximity to the mountains, the Bavarian winters are not kind to the facade of the castle. As previously mentioned, King Ludwig never actually lived to see his castle completed. With all of the money and man hours put into the project, it turns out that he only spent 11 nights in the castle. The castle is now owned by the state and is open almost every day of the year. Due to restrictions imposed by the State Department, no pictures were allowed to be taken inside of the castle. Here in the capital of Bavaria, you are looking at St. Peter's Church. St. Peter's is the oldest church in all of Munich. While it was reconstructed in 1368, St. Peter's has been the site of religious dedication since the 8th century. The monument seen here is known as Feldhernhalle, which is translated to Field Marshal's Hall. The monument was commissioned by King Ludwig I to honor the Bavarian army. Throughout the years, the site has played a controversial role in the capital's history. It was briefly a site of a battle that ended Hitler's Beer Hall Putsch and formally served as a Nazi commemoration site honoring the death of 16 members of the Nazi party. Here you can see a statue honoring King Max I of Bavaria, who is the great-grandfather of King Ludwig II, the creator of New Schwanstein Castle, shown before. And of course, we couldn't come to Munich and not make a stop at the Hofbrauhaus. Immediately upon walking in, you are greeted to a symphony of music and delicious smells. I was also able to try some goulash, which is essentially stew or soup of meat and vegetables, usually seasoned with paprika and other spices. It was delicious. The last stop of the night was for some Glühwein literally meaning glow wine. Here we go. That's tall. <laughs> 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 